Ah, uh, so... What's up guys, this is your boy Nick and welcome back to today's tutorial. And like you can see, I uh, have this tutorial where I just want to show you how you can just connect your uh, live face and then you just do the uh, face control, leak face control uh, using the Unreal Engine 5. So this is a, it's an amazing tutorial. And I hope you guys that you're going to learn so many things and big up to my friend here, Steve Adams, who just did this amazing shoot using the iPhone. And let's just go to the step. So what we are just doing here is that we are trying to capture the uh, face uh, animation using the iPhone, which you just can just look for iPhone or for the iPad. And then you just connect it using your computer. First of all, you need just to take this, the body movement that you just want to take. You can just do the voiceover. And just make sure that just matches what you just need to do. So when you're just done, what you just, just need to do is just go to your uh, desktop. And what you just need, before you do that one, make sure that you check that your uh, live link plugin uh, is active so check for this one they call it the live ring face importer so make sure that is checked and if it's not checked you just need to click tick and then you just restart your software so that it can be detected so then go to your computer to where you have just saved your files and like for me th this one they are just saved there and then just drag and drop drag and drop this file in uh, your unreal agent so when you just drag and drop then just cross and then just need to open um just need to open this one the recording that you have just done then here on your light side like you can see go to select it all then you need just to select your the recording that you have just done to make sure that it's selected on your character so just click and make sure that everything is also checked just make that box that is also checked so when just click then you can just see your character automatically started to uh react to the voice that you had so this was the thing that the my friend steve adam was just doing on the iphone like moving the head and doing everything and don't forget to go to his uh webs uh youtube channel that is a, a read vibes tv you can just check on it on your youtube then you can just see him there so then make sure that your character is selected this is the character that you're using here drag and drop on your timeline drag your character on the timeline and when just drag your character on the timeline what you just see is a magic happen so this is what we call the face ring face ring which you can just now do like you see what you're just doing here your character maybe did not match whatever you just needed and the face rig is just going to help you that you can be able now to animate every kind of face that you need on your character so select on your face and what you just need to do is just you light click your mouse and then just go to the um face rig and then you just select just select there and then it's just going to open for you all those things they all the face types that you just need and what you just need to do is that you can uh just just do click to bake everything and this is just going to take some seconds and now it's everything is big and like you can see now you have now this on the back on your behind you have the like it's just like the face and you have all the parts of the uh, face that you need to start now animating so you can just zoom your character to be able to see where inside just zoom a bit so that you can be able to see you like you can see there are the mouth which is just thrown there there are so many parts of the face and this is now just going to help us that we can be able to start are uh, now doing the face rig animation like we can now be able to tune the mouth we can be able to tune the nose the eyes the jaws the cheek every part of the uh, face that you need just to be animated or to correct that was not done well so what i'm just waiting is that so like right now we have your character so just move your um, uh your timer in a bit up to where like the mouth is just opening 
and then just select on your um, the background uh, the, the background where we have this picture then just select the mouth just make sure that you have selected the mouth then it's just going to open to you all those things here so when it's just selected so just what you just need to do go to the gizmo and just you can just try to tune and maybe reduce from zero just make it a bit uh, lesser than one so when you just make it lesser than one so then just try to select um just trying to select something here you know what i'm just doing here is i'm trying to correct all the parts which they are not matching so you can just also do the control and on your control then you can just try to also to do some control like just reducing and you, if you just do something you see like your mouth is just changing to the side and this is just what is just going to happen when your character now start talking in lead time so what we're just doing here is that we're just trying to correct all the mistakes that were done when we are doing our recording on the um, using our phone so to make sure that our character look more realistic and it behave the same way as like the way we want so just do the control again and just, then just try to uh, increase or decrease this will make you you know sometimes when you're just recording you just do some very fast recording and it's just going to make that you avoid those mistakes like some one will not just say like you yeah you know like you do look like a namacha just really want to look like a something who was just doing the uh, the talking is real and everything behave the same way the way you just wanted to see so spend your time trying to see all those mistakes and also uh we can just try to look for some other bad parts so what i'm just doing here too is to mash and to see like my face fits where i want I'm not just trying to ignore that whatever I just recorded using or what my first Steve Amdams recorded using the iPhone was the perfect thing. So I'm just trying to make more perfect than the way it was. So now you can see when you just select here, you have all the face parts. Like you have the mouth. So just try to make sure that you just correct everything everything that you just make sure that you know what you are collecting so that it can match whatever you, ju you just want so trying to play with the figures like reduce increase then look for another things like the one that you want also select and also try to play with those figures again and if guys have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you shall subscribe to my channel and don't forget uh, uh, to, uh, to subscribe or just to share this video if you just find it more important. So what, you know, the, some things here, you, you know, we cannot be having the same kind of problem. So some problem you might be having, other problem, and you just you might see like your character is not behaving like mine. So what I'm just trying to concentrate here is to make sure that every part of the face or the mouth or the nose or the ears or the jaws or the eyes they are react or they behave like a normal human being and that is what I'm just trying to check on them mostly common music that I know that um, can be made when you just uh, you're doing the um, animation or you're just doing any animation so the Alil Ejin face ring will just help you to be able to do this on the um, face ring control so I'm just checking because there are so many parts so everything that you just see on your my on the background of the character is also can be animated or can be corrected from this character from this meta human character and like now you can see I'm, even when I'm just trying to collect like the ribs of the mouth I can move the right side the left side and also make my character uh, like smile more and show the this one like you know like a normal human being like when you open your mouth and 
it look more you know i'm just trying to play with the figures because i it's not easy work you just need to spend your time try to check for those mistakes try to come up with try to try like you can just spend like uh you can just dedicate like one to two hours of your time this video i did was like 15 minutes which i think was less but it was okay for just showing you the tutorial just showing you how you can be able to do those things and now you can see right now i'm on the uh trying to show the mouth you see like the light le the light side or the left side is just opening and this will make my color like, like when they are, he's talking and you know you can just have to see this is the variation and the the you know there's this way like when you say some letters and they don't match so you see you can also make your character close one eye and try to the jaws move up and down so it's a lot it's a bit you know i'm trying to explain to you what i'm doing here because i don't want to ignore that you know so what i just want to show you is exactly what i mean when i say the face control and trying to correct those mistakes on your character. So, uh, I'm also praying. So you see, every time I select anything, I have to go back and just try to play the figure. Either increase or decrease to make sure that I get the perfect thing that I need. And I'm not just increasing or decreasing. I'm also checking my character, how he is behaving if i see like when i just open it's too much then i have to reduce to make it doesn't look like a robot or just like uh, someone is just doing some amateur work and this is the job that so many people uh, have been doing uh to make sure that their color can look amazing so it's it's a bit of work like you can see also the juice can expand if I just want to expand them, all I can just make them just uh, more smaller. So this one is the eye side, like you can see the eyes, they're also trying to uh, move a bit. And also the jaw is moving to one side, to the other side, like someone who is just trying to shoot something. Like when you talk, your jaws move from left to right, sometimes up and down. And this is what I'm making sure that uh, my character is just going to behave the same. It's, it's, it's not an easy job sometimes. But if you just spend your time, I promise you are just going to come up with a, the best thing that you can just do on this so big software, the Unreal Engine 5. So the mouth you know the thing here like you can see i'm concentrating more to see that my mouth try to match everything so just remember whatever uh the my first did adam da, he did he never did a voiceover he just moved the head right and left and he tried to talk but if you have the voice you have to listen to the voice and make sure that the voice matches what you want if i have to say hi it have to be hi it's not it's not just moving the lips to the other side and that's where the uh, face rig try to help you just to correct all those mistakes and so i'm just trying to see like you have also the bottom here if i just select and in case you can see this is now it can help me now to start um maybe animating my neck a bit so that my character can uh, you see now when I, when my character talk the mouth and the neck now they are moving they are not just in a constant and if i was saying if my friend steve adam was saying something uh, amazing then those things could be mashing with everything so this is what guy i'm telling just trying to check on it go to the Unreal Engine 5, try to record your face using the uh, the iPhone and also I'm just going to show you, you can just also use your Android phone to do these amazing things. Then use the same same step like uh, the one that I showed you, just trying to 
uh, check on how you can just use the face rig to control your character and move match them and try to play with it like for one to two days to learn it exactly what is this how does it mean how does it work and when you're done you can be able to do this amazing so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope to see you next on my next video so uh bye bye for now